Hello everyone. We will start with our new topic today. That is debugging. Debug. It means it is a technique by which we can find out the bugs. We can detect the bugs. We can analyze the bugs and we can resolve the bugs. It is a technique by which you can resolve the errors, you can find out the errors, you can detect the errors with the help of debugging. In every programming language, you should know debugging if you want to analyze or if you want to detect or if you want to find out, if you want to correct the errors, you should know debugging in each and every programming language. Whatever the programming language you are using, debugging always plays a vital role because of that only you can find out the errors. Now, in SAP, suppose we have a program and we want to analyze that program or we want to find out the error in that program. So how we can, how we can analyze or find out the error using debugging. So we have two ways of debugging in SAP. What is the first way of debug? You can put the breakpoint on any executable statement and program will automatically stop at that point. Anyways, I will show the practical. The first way is you can put a breakpoint on any executable statement. Now question comes, what do you mean by executable statement? Suppose if I will go for the program. Suppose I am opening any program. Suppose this is the program. In this program, what are executable statements? This select query is an executable statement. If statement, select query, message, else, sort, loop, write, these all are executable statements because you are executing. These all are executable statements means I can only only put the breakpoint on these executable statement. I cannot put the breakpoint on this data declaration because it is just a declaration. I cannot put the breakpoint on this select option statement because with the help of this, I am just pa passing an input. So I cannot put the breakpoint on the declarations. I can only only put the breakpoint on the executable statements. Select. It is an executable statement. If it is an executable statement, sort, loop, write, these all are executable statements. So you cannot put the breakpoint on data declarations because those are not executable statements. Now, what is second way of debugging? We can debug the code with the help of transaction code slash H. We will go for the system and we will see how we can enter into debugging mode by these two ways. I will put the breakpoint, suppose, on this executable state. Now, you will be only only able to put the breakpoint if your program is in active state, active state. Suppose I put a breakpoint on this 35 number line. As of now, just understand, I put the session breakpoint, session breakpoint. Anyways, in the future, I will come on to the difference between these two types of breakpoint. Just as of now, simple understanding. We put the cursor and put the breakpoint on 35 number line. 
and we got a message session breakpoint was set i am running the program i am passing some input whenever i will click on the execute button i will go to desktop 3 just as of now just understand that desktop 3 is most preferable desktop in the future i will explain and you can see i entered into debugging mode and the program automatically stops on which number line 35 suppose i am putting the i am deleting this breakpoint simply click this breakpoint deleted i am putting the breakpoint on 40 number line whenever i will run the program program automatically stops on the 40 number line if i entered into debugging mode desktop 3 is more preferable and you can see program automatically stops on 40 number line so whenever you are putting the breakpoint on any of the executable statement your program stops there and program will automatically stop at that point now we will go for second way of debugging now what is the second way of debugging you can debug with the help of transaction code slash h i will show you this i will run the program suppose firstly i am deleting this breakpoint i am just running the program i am passing transaction code slash h and you are you are able to see i got a message debugging switched on whenever i will execute you can see i automatically entered into debugging mode and i am on first statement of the program so whenever you are entering through slash h the execution starts from the first line first executable line so these are the two ways by which you can enter into debugging mode first way is you can put the breakpoint on any executable statement and the second way is you can debug through transaction code slash /h slash /h is a transaction code to on the debugging and after that you can enter into the debugging if you are going for first way it will stop at that particular line if you are going for slash /h it will start from the first executable line now in the upcoming videos we will analyze the features of the debugging thank you